so it's Brian here. I got another tool review for you. I'm going to review a Slonic uh, headset. This is a S25-BL. I'll put a link to it in the description. And remember, I get a little bit of a commission if you use the link uh, when you buy it from Amazon. Um, and I do appreciate the support. So I've been using one of these for about a year as a home inspector. So I bought another one because I got a lot of work to do on the Jeep and I needed something to work under it. Um, it's really overpackaged in my opinion. It doesn't need the fancy um, moisture proof bag like that. It does use an 18650 battery. Beware when you buy these because some of these are absolute junk and they have, you know, like they'll be rated for 10,000 milliamps and that's not really what they are. Uh, it did include a battery and I've had pretty good luck. This is a really, this device is not very demanding. Um, and one of the features it has is you can screw this out to keep you from hitting the button accidentally. It has an adjustable head strap, uh, which I think needs to be a little looser for me. Well, let me just... Yeah, it still needs to be a little looser. It's a little too tight. There you go. And uh, you just unscrew this and drop the battery in. Um, I can't remember... I'm pretty sure it's it's tip in. Um, if you get it backwards, you just take it out and reverse it. So it's a it's a very bright light, dual um, dual LEDs. So it does have an adjustable brightness, but honestly, I use it in. If you just hold the button down, it'll step through its brightness. I use it in full brightness and I've not really had any issues. It does come with some helmet hooks and it comes with a user's manual and a little uh, USB, it looks like it's a USB-C cable. Those You never really have enough of those. I don't know where, where would you hook a USB to this? Is there somewhere on here? I, I just, I I know it sounds silly, but honestly, I've never tried to hook a USB to it. Uh, I don't even see where you would plug USB into this. Ah, there is a USB-C charger there. That's awesome. I don't use it. So, I take the batteries out and put them on my uh, desk charger. I will save this. The rest of this is going to go away. Um, so, it will either get recycled or thrown in the trash. Because, quite frankly, yeah. And, uh... Hmm. So there's a coupon code for a free battery. I'm going to see what that's about because these things are worth a few dollars a piece and uh, they're kind of hard to buy. So it's rated as 10 watts and so it'll last for five hours on a typical battery and it comes with a 2200 milliamp battery and I think that's a reasonable reasonable uh, rating on this. Sometimes you can find these in a little higher rating but honestly this is realistic. And then, uh, you know, it just talks about what else it has. It shows you where the, the features are. Good documentation. It's a great product. I'm very, very happy with it, which is why I bought another one. The new one is going to go in my home inspection bag, and the old one that's a year old is going to come out and work in the garage on the, on the Jeep. Um, it's already a little grungy, so it's not a matter if it gets even grungier. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful. Please remember to like my video and to subscribe and check out my playlist. That's how I organize the different topics that I shoot videos about. Uh, I've got lots of other tool reviews out there because that's one of the more popular things uh, that I've done videos on. Thanks for watching.